I know it's not just me. Joe Biden, Mr. Magoo, Mr. Magoo, Joe Biden. Are you smelling what I'm cooking? Let's start here. What is up with all this challenging people to a fight? That does it. I'm boiling mad. I said, come on, Donald. Come on, man. How many push-ups you want to do here, pal? Yeah. And you want to check my shape on? Let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do. Let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take your Number two. Number two. Press always asks me, "Don't I wish I were debating him?" No, I wish we were in high school. I could take him behind the gym. That's what I wish. It takes me back to my soft shoe days. <laughs> Perry. Good young man. <laughs> and what on earth is this deal with Biden bragging about how well he did in school? Ah, here we are. Arturo Murphy's dance studio. <laughs> I'll be the, the envy of my classmates. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only 123 credits. Why would you call Joe Biden what you called him today? That, he, that he's dumb? No. That would have been a compliment. Oh, that would have been like an invitation to Joe, the prom. Joe, I, I, you call I, him a I, mentally deficient oh, I, I idiot. Didn't, I didn't mean that. I meant he was, he, he's, not, he's dumb. I think Joe is uh, uh, last in his law school class. Joe. He wasn't two, last, but he was low. We actually, he was second to last, and the guy died and he ended up last. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how often Joe Biden gets verklempt? I think it's a, a mistake to pull out the, straw, the small number of troops. Uh, 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 the, the reason he made the strike was because our embassies were about to be bombed. I would not meet with uh, uh, absent preconditions instead of poking our eye and uh, po excuse me, poking our finger in the eye of all our friends by stealing our intellectual, or stealing our intellectual property, their corporate state system to, uh, uh, to our significant disadvantage of anyone running up here. Industries reduce the cost of drug uh, of drug prices. It sets up, it allows all the drug companies. To, excuse me. It allows you to Medicare to negotiate. It should be free universal infant, infant care. But here's the deal: over 500 miles a day, uh, excuse me, uh, 250 miles a day. There's no oper There's no choice but to, for Nancy Pelosi that I think of the, about the American people. I headed up the Recovery Act, which put more money in. To fossil, uh, moving away from fossil fuels to to enter to uh, uh, solar and wind energy. If they, the vast majority believe their children will never reach the stage that they read, they they've reached the next. And like President Trump, Joe Biden has been holding his coronavirus briefings. Except unlike President Trump, he's been holding them in the basement of his home in Wilmington, Delaware. And let's just say they have been challenging. Um. And, uh, I'm not, and I, I have a, I have a, uh, like all of you, but every day I have between an hour and an hour and a half a brief with um, uh, the former head of, uh, our former Surgeon General, anyway, with docs across the country, and use the organizational ability that the White House has, that the President has, to make sure we have enough PPP, those, those protective gear for this second wave. We're, 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 it's a, we're in the middle of a pandemic that has cost us more than 85,000 jobs as of today. Lives of millions of people, millions of people, millions of jobs. And what did he say about guns and deaths? That has caused carnage on our streets. 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. Oh, how do you do, madam? Uh, Magoo's the name. I would like to join your cotillion to improve my Terpsichorean endeavors. And vision issues and Chuck. 
Charlie. Charlie! And I also am told that, uh, that uh, uh, Chuck Graham, state senator, is here. Chuck, stand up, Chuck. Let him see you. Oh, God love you. What am I talking about? I tell you what, you're making everybody else stand up, though, pal. Thank you very, very much. I tell you what, stand up for Chuck. By Georgia Conga Line, the Magoo specialty. One, two, three, and kick. Hey! One, two, three, and kick. Hey! And sometimes he can't exactly remember who wrote what. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. Other times he remembers what they said, it's just that he can't remember who said it. Why is it that my wife is sitting out there in the audience? is the first in her family to ever go to college. Why is Glenys the first woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football. Eight hours underground and then come up and play football. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. There was no platform upon which they could stand. Cannot measure the health of our children. The health of our children. The quality of our education. The quality of their education. The joy of their play. For the joy of their play. And then other times, Joe just kinda drifts off. What's happening? We're not organizing, and we don't organize the world. Who organizes it? Who organizes it? And so there's so much, I think, I, uh, anyway, look, I, I one, one, one more question here. Is it too late to address the climate change in a meaningful way? <laughs> it looks to me like Mr. Biden is in mid-season form. You're a lion dog face pony soldier. Now, at this point, a lot of Democrats are wondering, is Joe Biden the guy? After all, he's been making gaffe after gaffe after gaffe. He hasn't exactly inspired confidence in how he would handle the pandemic. And don't forget the allegation made against him by Tara Reid. In fact, this op-ed in the Washington Post suggested that he drop out. And yet Democrats should still insist that Biden step aside. Democrats must apply the standards we elaborated during the Kavanaugh case. As Jessica Valenti argues, feminists must not fall into the trap of ignoring individual women's stories in exchange for broader political power. It not only runs counter to our most fundamental values, trusting women, but it's also a strategy that has never and will never result in the progress we're actually after, end of quote. Are you kidding? Joe Biden is gonna step aside because Tara Reid made an allegation. There've been many allegations made against Donald Trump. He survived them. Joe Biden went to school on that. Furthermore, this is his third time out. The man has been running for president ever since he was in the second grade. He's not dropping out now. And if he were to drop out, you'd have to go to Bernie Sanders and give him the right of first refusal because he got the second greatest amount of delegates, which case the Democrats would then be running instead of Joe Biden, a fumbling guy who's confused, they'd be running a Democrat socialist. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. with Bernie Sanders, they'd be running the guy that they coalesce to take out after it appeared that Bernie Sanders was going to be the front runner. Come on! <laughs> now, at the very beginning, I said, Biden, Mr. Magoo, Mr. Magoo, Biden separated at birth, and I asked you whether I was the only one. I'm not. And yet he, he comes, kind of bumps along, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. kind of Mr. Magooing his way <laughs> through this. Yeah.
it ain't the golf swing that counts, it's where the ball lands. Now, don't forget, Uncle Tom, my documentary is coming out June 19th. Go to UncleTom.com right now. Check out three of the trailers. Here's one. I focus on three things. Belief in God, belief in myself, and my belief in the United States of America. Being a black conservative is just natural. It's what my family raises on. Faith, family, individual responsibility, education, service to the nation, an entrepreneurial mind. Being a business owner in America is one of the greatest privileges of being an American. I think black Americans should believe and uphold the ideas of constitutional inherent rights. I always felt that if I worked hard, that I could overcome the circumstances of my life. I never felt that because I was black or I was poor or a woman that I couldn't do something. Humans are naturally conservative. You grow up being told to work hard for what you got. You don't, you don't grow up being told you're going to get something because you just want it. Like, you ain't got to work for it. But Democrats, they say, hey, we give you everything for free. That ain't reality. And so we bid adieu to our good friend. Sir, until we meet in court, I say good day. <laughs> We've got a country to save. I'm Larry Elder, and I'll see you next time.